In a recent showing of Taylor Swift's Era's tour concert movie in Beijing, a powerful scene unfolded. Women belted out feminist lyrics denouncing gender inequality, teenagers in glittery dresses danced to songs celebrating LGBTQ freedoms, and the number 1989, a sensitive year in modern Chinese politics, loomed large on the theater screen. This spectacle, drawing in young, female audiences across China, stood in stark contrast to President Xi Jinping's increasingly conservative vision for women. Offering a rare outlet for those rejecting rigid social controls and expectations set by the Communist Party, as China grapples with a shrinking population, President Xi has urged women to focus on childbirth and embrace more traditional domestic roles, while simultaneously suppressing movements advocating for gender equality and women's rights. Against this backdrop, Taylor Swift's music and message resonate deeply with Chinese audiences like Xua Tao, 22, who found inspiration and courage. In Swift's lyrics, particularly in songs like The Man, which critiques societal double standards, Alice Evans, a gender equality researcher at King's College London, highlights Swift's emotional expressiveness as a key factor in her appeal to a younger generation increasingly attuned to gender issues. In a traditionally patriarchal society like China, where women have long been expected to adhere to familial and societal expectations, Swift's music serves as a beacon for those critical of sexual harassment, gender-based violence, and workplace discrimination. Despite Swift's absence from touring in China, her era's movie has been a resounding success, filling thousands of screens and generating significant revenue. This success underscores the pent-up demand for cultural expressions that challenge societal norms and celebrate diversity. Moreover, Swift's vocal support for the LGBTQ community resonates deeply with audiences in China, where such expressions have faced government. Suppression The popularity of Swift's movie, along with other cultural imports like the film Barbie, underscores the appetite among Chinese audiences for narratives that confront gender inequality and social injustice. While Swift's American origins and association with Western values might seem at odds with Chinese state media narratives, her appeal transcends geopolitical boundaries, as evidenced by her sold-out concerts and enthusiastic fanbase in China. Despite initial concerns about censorship related to her album title 1989, Swift has continued to find acceptance and appreciation in China. Audiences like Yang Yang Zhou, 29, who attended Swift's Reputation Tour in the UK, have embraced her music as a form of empowerment and self-expression. As Swift's era's movie extends its run in China, fans across the nation are gearing up to attend shows during the Lunar New Year holiday, further cementing Swift's status as a cultural icon whose music inspires and empowers audiences around the world. In a review praising Swift's resilience and vulnerability, a state media magazine encapsulated the essence of her appeal. She talks about love, exposes her fragility openly and bravely, and then she moves forward, continues to love. In a society grappling with rapid social change and shifting norms, Swift's music offers a source of strength and solidarity for those seeking to challenge the status quo and embrace their true selves.